Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.54 Arjuna said, O Keshava, what are the symptoms of a person whose intelligence is fixed in samadhi? How does he speak? How does he sit? And how does he walk? Sar Ardavarshini In the previous verse, Arjuna heard about the intelligence of one fixed in trance. Arjuna now inquires about the symptoms of a true yogi. How do they, whose intelligence is undisturbed and fixed, stita bragya, speak? What is the symptom of their language? How do those in samadhi remain situated in trance? The designations stita, bragya, one whose intelligence is fixed, and samadhista, one who is situated in trance, apply to liberated persons. How do they speak when they face a situation of pleasure or misery, honor or dishonor, glorification or criticism, affection or envy, and so on? Do they speak clearly or do they just contemplate within themselves? How do they sit? How do they engage their senses in the external world? How do they walk? In other words, how do their senses behave in relationship to the external sense objects? Sar Ardavarshini Prakashikariti Beginning from this verse, Arjuna asks Sri Krishna 16 questions. In response, Sri Krishna illuminates the deep secrets of prescribed duty, karma, the path of spiritual advancement in which the fruit of one's work is offered to Bhagavan, karma yoga, the path of knowledge, jnana, the path of spiritual advancement through transcendental knowledge, jnana yoga, meditation, jnana, austerities, tapasya, devotion mixed with fruitive action, karma, mishra bhakti, devotion mixed with empiric knowledge, jnana mishra bhakti, and pure devotion, shuddha bhakti. From this verse till the 18th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna indicates pure, loving devotion, prema bhakti, which is the most confidential knowledge. In his conclusion to the Bhagavad Gita, he explains that one can have entrance into prema bhakti through the gateway of complete surrender to him. The 16 questions asked by Arjuna are as follows. First, stita pragyasya ka basha. What are the symptoms of one who is of fixed intelligence? Stita pragya. 2.54. Second, jayasi chet karmanas te. Why engage me in this ghastly warfare? 3.1 Third, Atha kena prayukto yam What impels one to perform sinful acts? 3.36 Four, Aparam bhavato janma How am I to understand that you previously instructed this science to Vivasvan. 4.4 Fifth, Sanyasam Karmanam Krishna. Which path is better, renunciation or selfless action? 5.1 Sixth, Yo Yam Yogas Tvaya Praktaha. This path of yoga appears impractical due to the unsteady nature of the mind. 6.33 7. Ayatihi Shradhayo Pito 
What is the destination of the unsuccessful transcendentalist? 6.37 8. Kim Tat Brahma Kim Adyatmanam What are Brahman, Karma, Adyatma, Adibhuta, Adideva and Adiyagya? And how can you be known at the time of death? 8.1-2 9. Vaktum Arhasi Asheshena Please tell me in detail about your glories or vibhutis. 10.16 10. Evam etat yathata tvam I wish to see how you have entered this cosmic manifestation. 11.3 11. Akyahi me ko bhavan ukra rupo. O fierce one, please tell me who you are. 11.31 12. Tejam ke yoga vitamaha. Who is more perfect? He who performs bhajan or the impersonalist? 12.1 13. Prakritim Purusham Jaiva I wish to know about Prakriti, Purusha, Kshetra, Kshetrakya, Jnana and Jaya. 13.1 14. Ker Lingas Trin Gunan Etan By what symptoms can one identify a person who has transcended the three modes of material nature. 14.21 15. Tesham Nishta Tuka Krishna What is the situation of one who does not follow the principles of scripture? 17.1 16. Sanyasasya Mahabahu O mighty armed one, what is the purpose of the renounced order, sannyasa, 18.1.